Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, as you saw right up there. I got a project. You know about the, the Tuk Tuk kayak? I had someone watch that video and ask me, does it have, does, does, are there rod holders available? And I said, no, but you know me, gotta have rod holders if we're going fishing. If we're getting on the water, we gotta have a place to put our rods. And so I've been thinking, I have a plan, or I actually have, have two ideas. So we have fishing rod. And let me, let me, let me put this in, sitting in the boat, the kayak. Where are you gonna put the rod? And the, you know, the, the plastic is, it's just that, it's plastic. There's no place to mount anything. I, mean, I guess we could put it like that, but what I would really like is to have it right there, but still be able to drive. So that means it needs to actually sit about right there. It could even go this way. So I have, I, I have some rod holders. Let me get up. Easier said than done. Go over here. So I, I have these, I have the rod holders. These are from Bobber. If you don't know who Bobber or what Bobber is, you need to go back in time. I actually have a, an inflatable pontoon boat. These are actually rod holders that stick in my ground. And I, so I really like having this set up. And I made an adapter, which is just a piece of steel rod. So I have that set up for Bobber, the pontoon boot. And I'm thinking, it works like this. You actually lower that down. And when the, you've got the full length of the rod, it stays just like that. And it, it can't go, off, go anywhere. And then it flips up like that you'll you'll see it'll it'll become clear clear as mud so i need to get this right there so i have i have two plans and we're going to go with plan a which is using pvc i mean it's a it's a pvc boat so let me let me let me get some some measurements and we'll start cutting pvc pipe so our first measurement is nine inches that's how that's how much freeboard there is well it's actually not freeboard that's how much sidewall there is nine inches actually there's eight we're gonna add one to that and for this i'm using just an old cheap hacksaw Two of them, nine inches. need two pieces I 
I need two one inch pieces. And the reason I need two one inch pieces is because I'm going to connect these together. So that's actually three quarters, be inch and a half, but one inch pieces will work. doesn't have to be exact. Gotta remember what's in my head. Don't you just hate it when you when you get the wrong freaking because it was in the bin with all the others. I didn't I didn't stick my finger in there, it's threaded. Throwing a wrench in my gears. So for proof of concept, this is gonna work. I'm probably gonna need to replace that bad boy. Okay, now we need two 12 inch pieces, four 12 inch pieces. Twelve inches may be a little long. We'll find out. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be too long. Now, one on that side. Well, yeah, it's gonna be too long because I wanna be closer. I should have measured first. Measure twice, cut once. I'm measuring once, I'm cutting twice. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think 20 is going to be too long. I think it's probably going to be closer to 18. We're going to start at 20. Okay, now, I need to drill a hole dead center, and I have two of these. Perfect. Now we gotta see if it's as perfect in place. Thank <laughs> you. 
So here's where we are. I think it would be better if it all went forward. Where it's okay. And I can still have paddling room if they're out to the side. And mostly there won't be any paddling going on while those are in the water. And then I can push them forward like that when we're just moving, when we're relocating, changing positions. There's no question though that it needs to be farther forward. Until I get another T, there's no point in pursuing this idea. It's going to require some carpentry. We're going to start with a a 26 inch one by four. And we're going to get two. I think I'm going to go with seven inch. Better to, better to go a little long. Two eight inch two by fours. already like that better. I think we need a little lateral support. Maybe, maybe not. So we're going to get two 12 inch one by fours. So we have our feet. be able to pivot them like that. These are pocket nail, pocket screws. I like them because I've got a, a head on them. That's what we want right there. And 
Now, to make it easier to transport, we want to fold that down, which is where these come into play. I need to go get a, a different tip. I can't drive Phillips screws with the, with the tip I have. I got a tip for you. Get the right tip. I don't think that's gonna run off. All right, so now it stows. Tighten that up a little bit. Deployed. Now we just need rod holder spot. It's a little more bulky than the PVC. Weighs a little more, but I think it's actually gonna work out better. Oh yeah, that's a much better fit right there. Although, need some way to lock that into place so that it doesn't here's what I'm talking about it falls over real easy and I just need to resolve the, the bait issue I need a, a bait container that'll go right here to the rescue so I always keep a couple of these in the truck anyway I'm satisfied with that. I found a better retaining solution. I was laying in bed last night and it just popped into my head. So I bought a, a box of bungee straps and it came with several of these tarp straps. So I just threaded it through that latch and he does the job perfectly. All right, ready to go. I think that brings us to the end of this little project. At least until I find the next part. And I may have to rethink the way I've got that configured. All right, so we're gonna wrap up this little build project right here with the finalized rod holder custom rod holder for the Tuck Tech Folding Kayak. Not too difficult, just had to think through the process here. 
If you enjoyed this, if you found some value, please click on that thumbs up and blast us out across your social media. And if you're not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. You want to subscribe because I'm going to put this bad boy in the water sometime here in the near future and we're going to go fishing and see how this whole setup works. Remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?